I should get that. It could be my brother. Yes? You okay? I, uh, yeah, I was just uh, running for the phone. How's Ethan? Better. The antibiotics are starting to kick in. Well, that's good news. He's okay. Uh, uh, what's Bob saying? Bob says that he's out of danger. His fever broke and he doesn't think there will be any lasting impact. Okay, how are his kidneys? Uh, working, thank God. Hold on, I am so glad. I understand that uh, Paul was the first to figure out Ethan's situation before anyone else. You know, I uh, have had my differences with him in the past, but I'm going to have to thank him at some point. I really appreciate what he did. Anyway, I need to get back to Ethan. Tell Mama and the kids that everything's okay. Yeah, of course. Lily isn't there by any chance, is she? I need to reach her. She left her cell phone here at the hospital. Uh, no, I, I haven't seen her. Well, Ethan is going to be fine, thanks to you. Thanks to me? I just had a hunch. You're the one who got him to the hospital, got him the actual care that he needed. You saved him, Paul. You knew he was in danger, and you took steps to help him. Even though everybody else was jumping all over you, you didn't care. I should go tell Mama. That we should tell the smart. kids. Faith, especially, was for Yeah. Work. I, I, I think she's outside. Um, after we do that, you want to go somewhere? Where? Somewhere we can be alone. It takes a, a minute or two for this, this to warm up. Yeah, I remember. What? You sorry you came back here? Well, I didn't think you were going to bring me here. This is where I live. And why is that, Paul? Why are you back here in the middle of nowhere? Well, um, for one thing, my, my, uh, my mom doesn't like to come up here, so that's a bonus. And being here, where I recovered, where we spent so much time together, makes me feel closer to you. Well, um, I can't blame you for being confused that I kissed you a little while ago. Yeah, no, I remember that. And it doesn't mean what you thought it meant. I moved on. Yeah, you said. And whatever you thought would happen, I can't. Okay. Do some crackers? I'm not hungry. You want me to take you home? Okay, look, I won't lie to you. I want to be with you. But if that's not what you want, and if you can't just be here, even just to sit and talk with me, then I'll take you home. It's not like I don't appreciate what you've done. <laughs> and I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you for saving Ethan. I don't want you to thank me. You. I don't. And, um... Okay, look, this gift, and I hate to call it that, but that is what it's become. It's forced me to think about other people instead of my stupid obsessions that were taking over my life. And now I... I really just try and... Enjoy every moment. You're biting your lip. <laughs> I miss you. But I'm good. I'm doing better now than I have been in a long time. I really am. Good, I'm glad. I'm out of glass of wine.
minutes. Make myself useful. Why are you gonna leave? I can't do this. Do what? Any of this. We just did. I know, and I shouldn't have. Did I ask anything of you? If I pressured you in any way? No. Then why are you gonna run away? Was it really so horrible? It was wonderful. You know, it was. And that's the problem. When it's good, when we're close, and we make love, no one's ever made me feel the way you do. I love you. So. I do. But you love me. Okay, fine. So we love each other. And what's the use? I mean, uh, all it's ever done was make us miserable. We've had some problems. <laughs> some problems? <laughs> Meg, I have spent all these years wasting all of my time and energy trying to change everything in the world and everybody in it. And you got caught up in that and you got hurt, and so I can, I can understand why you would be cautious, but... Okay, look, I'm not gonna pressure you. You try to make a new start. You've got a great new job. A relationship. If it's working for you, that's great. That's great. That's not great. It's not. It's not great. I can't convince you of anything. I love you. And it's probably not going to change anytime soon. But you go ahead. You run away if that makes you feel safe. You do what you got to do. But you could stay. Fire's still warm. I'll pour you another glass of wine that you don't drink. You have to know by now that I don't want anything from you that you don't want to give to me. <laughs> 